What's up guys? Welcome to the Warriors Report. Let's get right into it. The Raptors lose again, this time against the Phoenix Suns. I mean, how many losses can we keep taking before Oh, we like literally pull out our hair? This is so frustrating. We had this game though, but there are some good and bads. Let's talk about the goods first. Pascal Siakam, 32 points. Nine rebounds, three assists, one steal, one block. And he looked a lot like himself. He got to the free throw line. I mean, I I was surprised. I'm not going to lie. In my last video, I, call, I said it. I said no one's on Phoenix can guard Pascal. And I was right. I mean, he, he straight up went off. But it wasn't even that no one could guard him. He was playing really well. He looked like his old self, which was so nice to see. He was sidestepping players. He was driving, he was doing those spin moves, and he looked strong. He'd bump into players, and he didn't stop. He bumped, and he kept going, and he got those layups. He got to the free throw line a lot. He shot uh, 14 free throws. He made nine of them, which is not great, but heck, I mean, I'm just happy he scored 32 points, which is huge, and he did it efficiently. So that was one of the positives of this game. At least he looked somewhat. So he looked a lot like himself, actually. Not somewhat. He looked a lot like his old self, and this was so nice to see because... A lot of us Raptors fans have been stressed out with Pascal and how he's been playing and since the bubble. But he was showing signs and I've called it. I called it last video. I said he's going to do well against Phoenix and I said he's looking like his old self again. He was doing post up spin moves, which is exactly what he did. But he looked even better this game with he, he was doing sidestepping players and he was looking solid. He looked amazing. I mean, overall, our starters besides Baines played really well. When you look at our starters, OG and Anobi got you 20 and 8, and he shot 80% from the field goal. I mean, how much more can you ask from OG? Fred Van Vliet, he didn't take as many shots. He kind of, I wouldn't say he struggled. He made 5 of 12, which is decent, but I mean, he didn't get you 35 points, but that's you can't expect Fred to do that every game. You know, cut him some slack. Kyle Lowry was amazing. He had 29 and 6 on 9 of 15 shooting, which is great. I mean, our starters were amazing except for our center position. I'm not shitting on Alex Sun because, I mean, Alex Sun can only do so much in 11 minutes, but we got to start him. Aaron Baines, this is his third game in a row. Zero, zero, zero points. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, I might, he might have scored one basket through those three games, but at some point you got to change things. And I called it last video. I said, you got to change. You got to bench Baines. He can't be playing that many minutes, not just... And any team, not just because he's struggling, but he's more of a backup role. And yeah, he had that stretch with Phoenix Suns last uh, season when uh, Aiton was out. But he's obviously not doing well. Um, I Obviously, I preach patience. Preach patience. And this was, I said it last video, have patience, have patience. Everyone was saying, trade Pascal, trade. You know, at one point, they were saying, trade Fred Van Vliet. He's overpaid. But, but man, I'm losing my patience with Baines. It's going to take time, but how long? I mean, so he's not even making a basket, which is the most frustrating part. He's just been downright struggling. And let's talk about Norman Powell. I mean, whew, he was bad. I mean, he had some plays in the fourth quarter. He made he made those free throws. He drove. But at what point do you, like, stop giving him minutes? He played 26 minutes, shot two for seven from the field goal. But he also got to the line eight times, made seven of them, which is nice. But... But when you look at our bench, there's no one really. Who are you going to replace Powell with? I was wrong because I called the coach to play Utah Watanabe last game. And, I mean, when you look at the stats, he doesn't look all that bad. 3.3 rebounds in 15 minutes. One for four shooting. That's not great. But he looked kind of lost out there. He let players drive by him. And there's this one time where Kyle Laurie passed it to him. He he. I think the ball slipped right out of his hands and hit his head and bounced on his head and he was looking around so confused and you could tell Kyle Lowry was frustrated. And so was I. He had some really bad plays in there. But what do you do? I mean, you look at our bench. Boucher played 15 minutes. He was okay. I thought he could have been better, but he did shoot 3 for 4, but he didn't get the ball enough. But, I mean, what do you do? DeAndre Bembry was in there for a minute. Malachi Flynn played as well, but he was having one of those... I think he had three straight possessions where he took a shot and he missed. Uh, two of those shots will look really good. Unfortunately, they rimmed out or they slightly missed. But coach took him out right after. Three, sh three straight possessions of him just shooting, taking shots, not looking for anyone. He's kind of playing selfishly, but he's a young player. I'm not going to 
I'm not going to hate on Flynn. He's got a lot of future. I'm high on him. But, man, Phoenix has killed us. And the irony, too, because we've been talking about Raptors live by the three, die by the three, and they weren't doing that as much. And, you know, Phoenix kills us with the three-pointers. But, um, man, that was bad. I think Coach Nurse definitely needs to play Alex Len more, though. There's this point where Chris Boucher was just getting bullied, absolutely bullied in the paint by Saric, of all players. I mean, Boucher is light, we know, but Dario Saric was literally grabbing rebounds Posted him in the paint and just moved him out of the way slightly. And at that point, I was screaming to put Alex Lennon. I'm not saying he's the solution. And obviously, Coach Nurse knows better. Because last game, last video, I was screaming to put Utah Watanabe in. And he did. And look what happened. Coach Nurse knows a lot more than us fans. But we can always give our suggestions. And we definitely need to put Alex Lennon more, though. Because Baines clearly isn't doing anything. I mean, we had this game, though, guys. Like, literally, in the fourth quarter, we went small ball lineup with OG Pascal at the power forward center position. At that point, Phoenix still had uh, DeAndre Ayton at the center position. I thought OG did a really good job. He did well. He got those rebounds. And uh, eventually, they went on that drought where they didn't score for five, six minutes. And uh, finally, the Suns coach decided to take DeAndre Ayton out to space a little bit more floor. And he put Dario Saric back in. But... Man, we had that game, and let's talk about Kyle Lowry's stupid technical foul. I remember this one game, I think it was against Boston, I may be wrong, but in the playoffs where Serge Ibaka got mad at Kyle Lowry for talking so much, and he's has a, he has a habit of doing this. I love Kyle Lowry. He's the heart and soul of the Raptors, but he always does this. He just keeps yapping and yapping, and especially in that time, we can't even afford to give. It was only a basket we gave away, but still, we can't afford to get technicals. And I don't think he deserved that technical, but sometimes you just got to learn to shut your mouth, man. That was frustrating. I'm not I'm not going to hate on Kyle Lowry, but sometimes he's going to stop doing that. He's done that a lot where you're down, you know, two, three, four minutes left, and he keeps yapping, yapping, and then he gets a technical foul, and, you know, the other team gets a point or a basket. And that was frustrating, man. That was that was dumb. It's it's annoying. You got you to gotta learn to shut your mouth a bit and just play with the team. Man, this was a disappointing loss, especially because we probably looked the best we have this whole season. And, I mean, we still lost. At one point in the fourth, we were down like 15 points, and Raptors kept pushing, pushing. I thought they were going to come back. They looked solid with that small ball lineup. I think we should use that a lot more. OG at the center position plays really well. I mean, he can guard most big men. He has the size. He has the weight. And Pascal did a good job, too. Pascal was was a star. He, he looked like him, his old self, which is so good to see. And let's hope this continues, but man, it's we're running out of patience here as Raptors fans. I've been the first to say, like, hey guys, have patience. You know, one game, two games, three games, four games. We're one and six. This looks bad. I know it takes time to adjust, but Aaron Baines, come on, man. You get a you get to step it up a little. That was a pathetic performance by Aaron Baines, but we we gotta do something, man. We gotta do something. I'm not suggesting we move Kyle Lowry to the bench, but we gotta do something. Maybe maybe that works because their bench just sucks at scoring points. Maybe Kyle can play a similar role to Serge Ibaka did last year. Come off the bench, take as many shots as you want quickly, get us points in a hurry, and give Norman or someone else the two spot. So it gives us a bit more size. There's a there's a play in the fourth quarter where Fred Van Vliet was guarding Devin Booker. And Devin Booker, obviously Fred Van Vliet is much shorter than Devin Booker. He just he kind of stumbled, but he just jumped up and Honestly, I mean, there's only so much Fred can do. I'm not hating on him, but that's why it, it sucks. I love Kyle Lowry and Fred Van Vliet, but this midget lineup just struggles, man. And our rebounding sucks as it is, you know? So we need to put a bigger player in there. Maybe do something. we got to try something. I don't know. I mean, let's see next game. if we. Got, I think we got the Kings, so we better not lose that one. That's going to be a, that's a, that's If there ever was a must win or a guaranteed win, that has to be it. we got to win the next game. But we did look good. There's definitely some positive signs to take away. But, man, there's a lot of negative ones as well. Especially our center position. Obviously, we're going to have patience and give them time. But, man, come on. Like, they got to do better than this. We're not, as Raptor fans, we're not used to this. It's really frustrating to watch. But let's see. We're going to do some sort of adjustments next game, I think. Let's hope Alex Len gets more minutes. I trust Nurse. I mean, it's been a frustrating start to the season, but I know they'll turn it on. It just takes time. It takes patience. Everyone wanted to treat Pascal the win. Look what happened. He he looks like himself again. I hope he continues this, but let's see, guys. 
All right, guys, this is it for my video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like this uh, video, let me know what you guys think of this video. Let me know what your thoughts were on the game and what do you, what you think we could do to change it up a little bit. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time.